Welcome to the Tradies in Business podcast with your hosts, Warwick Bidwell and Nicole Cox. Divert your phone and grab a brew as Waz and Nick unpack tips, tales, secrets and stuff-ups from guests both inside and outside your trade, helping educate and inspire you to break the cycle of gut-busting and money stress and create a true trade business. Morning, Goose. Good morning, Duck Duck. No, wrong Goose. Good morning, Father Goose. <laughs> not for you, I'm not. <laughs> uh, Maverick. Oh, all right. Top Gun. I'm 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 Top Goon, and you're Goose. So does that was was Maverick the <laughs> cooler one, or was Goose the cooler one? I hope so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch it now to find out. <laughs> yeah. Is the second one out yet? I don't know. I don't know that I actually ever watched the first one. I don't like Tom Cruise. Sorry, Tom. Ah, what don't you like about Tom Cruise? He's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> He's very attractive though, isn't he? I don't think so, no. It's ah. not my bag at all. G'day, listeners. This Good is morning. the Tradies in Business <laughs> Tradie Rona cast. Happy Sunday. Coming at you on a Sunday. Somebody uh, said to me during the week about our Sunday episodes or about our weekend episodes. It's like, geez, was you guys are pretty committed working on a Sunday well, releasing podcasts. It's a good thing we like one another is all I can say. <laughs> They're getting quicker and quicker. How yeah. did you like yesterday's episode, gang? Ah, oh, did we shock you? <laughs> we kind of shocked ourselves, didn't we? We sat there in disbelief for a bit. But, you know, you had cows to feed and I had kids to feed. What's the difference, really? Mm. No, they make about the same mess, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. <laughs> but no, I just uh, I thought we'd actually do something different for a change and do a podcast of less than 39 minutes of waffle. Yeah, but I, for some reason people keep coming back for our waffle, so they can't hate it. I think they like our waffle. Why do you think that is, Goose? I don't know. What noise does a goose make? <coughs> don't they hiss? Uh, was that you hissing? Mm. It sounded like someone like <laughs> struggling with COVID. <laughs> just. Drawing. <laughs> That's terrible. A bit, bit macabre on a Sunday. Oh, just a little. Drawing their last rattly breath. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Sorry to anybody who was triggered by that. You just... should call a number of someone who cares. <gasps> oh. That's how we're rolling this Sunday. Warwick apparently doesn't care. <laughs> oh, it's Sunday and I'm talking to you, Coxie. Well, you should care about that. Oh, I always care about talking to you. Good. That's fine. But do you ever find it hard to um, – maybe we should have talked about this before. I hit <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a surprise, Warwick's just going to spring something on me in the middle of the podcast. Uh, do you ever find it hard to um, imagine people listening to this? Yes. <laughs> yes. I still can't <laughs> believe anybody listens to our waffle. Cannot. Uh, Can't believe people give us feedback. Can't believe that we get reviews. Do we have another one? Can't believe that uh, no, I actually really struggle with the fact anybody would listen to this. I know the guest interviews. Yep, I feel okay about those ones. But our daily tradie Ronencast seems a little bit like I wouldn't it's listen. It's getting a bit loose, isn't it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> is that surprising? <laughs> no. The builder's wife and I don't know what I am. Um, just me. <laughs> the, and a builder's was. Wife, the builder's wife and was, like, that's bound to go all kinds of bad. Of course it was, right? <laughs> the writing was on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should read the writing that's on the wall <laughs> and then we'd stay on track a little more. Well, no. I think um, clearly our humour, which we talked about yesterday, didn't we? Our humour uh, keeps people coming back and we do drop in some Chuck Norris segues that are interesting and necessary. Uh, we have some great guests. I don't know. think we sound okay. I can see mm. people people would listen. Do you, So back to my question though, we do this every day now mm -hmm. and uh, I I sometimes wonder if it's worth it. Like if, well, well not if it's question. worth it, but is it like, what the hell are we doing this for? Are we making a difference somehow? Is this just stroking our own egos? Does it give you and I a reason to talk crap on a 
daily basis. <laughs> We'd do that anyway. We don't need to hit record to do that. <laughs> I think we talk more crap off air. Now, there's a scary thought for you, listeners, uh, if that's at all possible. But I, I just I, sometimes I wonder, and maybe it's uh, crikey, we're coming up to nearly six years, I think, the show's been running. It's a long time. I'll have to go back and check that. I'm pretty sure it was November 14. That's um, a very special date in my household. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, not November 14th, November 2014. Oh, okay. What, what happens on the 14th of November? It's my stepmother's birthday, or it was. Right. So it's a special day in our house. Well, she might still have birthdays. Well, I don't know, actually. I'm, anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> that's better for the Friday afternoon drinks. That's not a Sunday morning yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I maybe having done, uh, oh, I think we're coming up to 300 episodes mm-hmm. soon. Mm-hmm. We're not far. Um, if I added all the, the episodes up, even the ones that don't have a number, because there's been some – Weird ones, and then the the fudget Fridays don't get counted in the main episode count. But um, I'm pretty sure we're past 300 already. I'm sure we are, which is a lot. That's uh, that's like every day for a year doing this. Aren't people lucky? <laughs> <laughs> lucky uh, that I do stuff legal and that I'm not. Oh, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sometimes I think, I don't know, does this make a difference, Coxie? Do, like, should we even bother recording today or should I just go pat my cows? Do you know what? I just, for me, my motivation behind doing these every day at the moment is to ensure that everybody still feels connected because it's one of those times when we could become incredibly insular and forget that there's a whole world of other tradies, in this case, out there doing it tough, feeling overwhelmed feeling yucky about the whole situation and I guess it's for me it's a reminder that you're not alone hmm it's like here's a bit of a lament on a Sunday Look it's out. not a whinge or a or a rant or a grizzle it's just it's actually a bit of pondering I like to get a bit philosophical on Sundays um I uh Sometimes I actually wish we weren't recording the podcast so I could just sit at my table and drink coffee and do it by myself. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> nothing against you, Coxie. It's Good not, morning, Coxie. It's, it's not here. you, Ghost. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's not you, listeners. It's me. I'm having an existential crisis on a Sunday. Uh, it is the 3rd of May, though. I can't believe that. It's it's Mother's Day in- Next Sunday, and you know what? I'm even going to commit to doing an episode on Mother's Day, and then the following s- Sunday, Monday, 18th is my my boy turns 18 on the 18th. Oh wow! I'm still struggling. That's cool. It's cool for him. You He'll know what's cooler still? Him. What? It's he can have two friends over. Oh, because Queensland's being mm. all reckless and and letting people catch the rona again. Yes, except if you're my dad and you're actually 55 kilometres as the crow flies, which means he can't come to visit today. We're not doing roast. Is that how they're measuring it? By crows Radius. or roads? Well, if you go by roads, I think he's 70. Oh, okay. But well, if, you go as anyway. the, <laughs> if you go by the crow fly, he's 55 and we've decided it's not worth the potential fine. Because be f- are, are they still being knobs and fining people? Look, to be really fair, I don't know if they're going to find people on the road. I don't know if they could actually tell where you've been. Uh, however, it only takes one knobby person to decide that they've got uh, their nose out of joint because my dad could be a little bit abrasive if somebody pulled him over <laughs> <laughs> and um, like sup him with a $1,300 fine, one for him and one for his passenger. So it's 2600 bucks. It's a bloody expensive roast truck. Mm, so there's no, $16,000 fines in Tassie. For what? For breaching the the rules. That's bloody stupid. If I go I for a walk in a national them, park, hmm. no, I'm a good boy. I love rules. I like to conform, Coxie. Oh, I've noticed, Warwick. <laughs> Can't you tell? I moved to Tasmania in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> I love conforming. You really do. <laughs> 
Uh, let's not go into the ways that I don't conform. But anyway, um, I digress. So my lament is I do wonder sometimes if this is all worth it. And we get some amazing feedback. Now, I'm not looking for sympathy or empathy or anything else here, listeners. I'm just pondering. You know, it's a bit of bit of Sunday philosophy. Uh, I do wonder, Coxie, recording this and doing the podcast and the group and all that stuff, do you ever just sometimes think, is this, like, am I on the right track here? Like, I, we put so much effort into tradies in business. It's It's insane how much work we put into this. And... I don't begrudge anybody for that. It's our choice because I, I practice extreme ownership and all that stuff. But I just wonder. I wonder sometimes, like, am I making a difference in the world? You know, in 20 or 30 years, am I going to look back on this? Is anybody going to look back on this and go, wow, that was amazing what you guys did or are doing or have created or the difference you made? You know, just, just just one of those questions that kind of floats around in my cavernous skull sometimes. Do you think there's an answer to it? Probably not. And I'm not necessarily seeking one. I just wonder. You know how sometimes you wonder why the sky's blue? No. No. Okay, maybe it's just me. <laughs> Do you look at your belly button while you're having these wondering thoughts? Only if I'm wearing pants because it gets a bit scary otherwise. <sighs> Now there's a now there's a scary thought for everybody listening. Is was currently wearing pants. It's Tasmania. I have no doubt you're wearing pants. I feel confident <laughs> of that. But you don't lose much heat below the waist. It's all around the torso, so I'm nicely rugged. Well, why are my feet always cold? That's got nothing to do with my pants. But apparently you don't lose any heat below the torso. Oh, no, you lose it from your feet and your head. Right. Which I also found out recently is a crock. Oh, really? Because they did some testing. You know that whole thing about you lose all the heat through your head? Yes. Well, I, I saw a science-y thing because, you know, hashtag science, uh, that said it's not true. Okay. Um, if your body's warm, you're warm. Where are we going with this episode today? I don't know. I, I, I'm very <laughs> confused. It's obviously a Sunday. Yeah. It's like, hey, we need to do an episode so we stick to the rules. Okay, well, tell me what you're doing to relax and recoup this Sunday. I'm, well, wifey's going horse riding. Just a, like around the paddock or? A new friend. No, no, oh. on the road. Oh. Not on the road. So well, you can actually, do that, but you can't go to a national park. Correct. You can you can exercise your horse. Ah, oh, that's the distinction. Anywhere you like. Right. Um, but not in groups of more than two. So she's going riding with one of her new local uh, friends okay. that she's connected with via Facebook. Mm -hmm. There is some good coming out of good old false book, um, <clears throat> particularly this time. I don't think the good that's coming out of it offsets the bad that it does, but anyway, we won't go there on a Sunday. <laughs> so Mrs. Was is going horse riding mm -hmm. with uh, a horsey friend, mm -hmm. and I'm going to split a butt ton of firewood because – it's getting damn cold here. You should see the view out of my window. It just it looks lovely, but when you go outside, it's cold. It's pretty bloody cold in Queensland this morning. That is the best joke I've heard all day, Coxie. <laughs> <laughs> well, once upon a time when you also uh, lived in Queensland, you would have agreed with me. I would have because I lived in Toowoomba and it gets bloody cold in Toowoomba. Yes, but I'm in Ipswich and despite the fact oh, you get more wind, gets cold. It's, it's, yeah. there's not – our normal temperatures are not different, but you get a lot more wind. Where? In my in tummy. In Toowoomba. All oh, right. Okay. Mm. Anyway, speaking of wind, uh, I'm speaking a lot of hot wind. At the moment. No, you're telling us what you're doing today. You're splitting firewood. Yes, I'm going to split firewood uh, so that it can dry out and then we can survive our first Tassie winter. How about you? I am Coxie. going to complete our bar as much yes, as I can today. Yes, I saw the today. photo of that. Mm -hmm. uh, everything I think should be almost finished today except for the installation of the wine fridge, which might take a little bit longer seeing as it hasn't actually arrived yet. Uh, <laughs> minor <laughs> then, technical detail. Minor one. And then I might actually partake in a beverage from my bar, 
while sitting around the fire at the back. How does that sound? Nice. Mm. Sounds like a lovely way to spend a Sunday. Hmm. And then we'll have pizza. Mm. Low carb, I hope. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Not that shit cauliflower base, though. No, yuck. Ugh. That just that gives me even more hot air. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like anything about it. No. I don't like anything. Anything. Anyway, uh, we've just clocked over 15 minutes. So, but, so, well, you forget about the stinger at the front, so we already oh, clocked over. Oh, yeah, minutes. okay. Well, 15 and a half minutes. Yes. So let's finish in under 20 and really knock people's socks off after yesterday's groundbreaking episode that was under 10 minutes. The whole we've, thing. We've proved that we have the capacity. Let's do some more quickies. Well, I think that's probably all people really want. <laughs> was, get in, make a point, Coxie, get out. Wasn't Coxie do a quickie? Do you know if they came to a podcast just with me, it'd be very fast. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. <laughs> right, it's been great having you in my ear holes. No, it hasn't actually, Coxie. No. Coxie? I can't even say Coxie. It must have been the three bourbons I had for breakfast. Goose. <laughs> duck, duck. <laughs> All right. Have a fantastic Sunday, listeners. I hope you enjoyed our absolute trolloppy waffle today. Trollop. No, tripe. Tripe. A trollop is one of those bitchy women people. That... Oh, okay. Mm. Right. Can I just ask if uh, no. when we pop this into the group, or we'll do it on the page, we might do it on both. Can you pop a photo in of what you're doing today? Show us what you're up to. I mean, the listener. Yeah. Warwick will do it anyway, but the listener. <laughs> All of our listeners, would you pop in, if you've listened to today's episode on a Sunday, as we've done it, can you please pop a photo in of what you've done today? I know some of our regular listeners would be out bike riding this morning. Mm, let me think about some of our other, oh, some of them will be out at the dog, well, they can't go to the dog park, but they'll be out with their, walking their dogs. Uh, let me think. Some Fishing. will be sitting at home rolling their eyes thinking, why food. am I listening to this rubbish? Yeah. It's like, was there a point to this? I've no, just wasted 17 just, minutes of my life. <laughs> we just want to know what you're doing on a Sunday. That's that's the whole point of this waffle. Yeah, because what we're doing is about to come to an end. Okay. Bye, Goose. <laughs> Bye, Warwick. Good <laughs> talking with you on a Sunday. Yeah, whatever. Thanks for listening. Ciao. You've been listening to the Tradies and Business Podcast with Warwick Bidwell and Nicole Cox. Find out more about today's guest, tools for your trade business and other cool stuff at tradiesandbusiness.com.au.